before you install a new filter or replace a spent filter. Survey the equipment and system label well in advance to performing the work to confirm receipt of the correct filter and bag, size, type, and number required for your housing. Order filters, bags, cinching strap, safety straps, banding kit, and other accessories as required from CamFill. In addition to this, you will need the following tools. The CamFill change-out shelf, if ordered with your housing, a ratchet wrench with an extension and a three-quarter inch socket, a roll of industrial duct tape. Inspect all filters upon arrival for damage. If necessary, replace those that are damaged, then schedule the filter installation or change-out with the owner's safety officer. Here are some terms we will use in this video. IOM means Installation, Operations and Maintenance Manual furnished with your CamFill housing. PPE is short for Personal Protective Equipment. The customer's facility may require viewing a safety video or training prior to performing on-site work. Make sure to ask in advance. Initial filter installation into a new system. Prior to beginning the filter installation for a CamFill bag-in, bag-out, or safe change filter housing, check with the owner's safety officer for the site PPE requirements, such as hard hat, safety glasses, and gloves. Use the guidelines in this video, IOM manual, and any overriding procedures of your company's safety policies. Isolate the filter housing by closing the upstream and downstream dampers. Unpackage the new filter in accordance with CamFill instructions. Open the filter access door by removing the four door knobs and pulling it towards yourself to remove. Place it in a safe location to protect the door gasket during filter installation. Install a CamFill changeout shelf to assist in the changeout process. There are two types of filter housings gasket seal, and gel seal. If your housing is a CamFill GB series, it accepts gasket seal filters. FB series housings accept gel seal filters. For gasket seal housings, you will need a ratchet wrench. Apply a thin layer of silicone grease to the gasket area. Refer to the CamFill IOM manual for the specification for this grease. To install the filter correctly, check the filter's direction of airflow arrow on the label. Orient the filter so the gasket side will face the ceiling surface. Make sure the filter pleats are vertically oriented. Carefully slide all filters into the housing. Using your ratchet wrench, turn the drive bolts clockwise. Turn both top and bottom drive bolts alternately. Turn both mechanisms until they reach their mechanical stop. For gel seal housings, Release the locking mechanism handle from the handle latch and pull the handle fully open. To install the filter correctly, check the filter's direction of airflow arrow on the label. Orient the filter so the gel seal channel side will engage the knife edge sealing surface. Make sure the filter pleats are vertically oriented. Carefully slide all filters inside the housing, taking care to align the extraction clips with the locking tray angle. Slowly close the locking mechanism handle towards the locking handle latch to seal the filter. Secure the mechanism handle with the latch. Place a new change-out bag over the bagging ring, pulling the shock cord over the second rib of the bagging ring. Install the security strap over the bag between the two raised ribs of the bagging ring and secure tightly. Extend the bag out completely. Fold and roll the bag toward the housing until the bag is tucked neatly between the bagging ring and filter access port. While holding the change-out bag in this position, replace the housing access door. Install and tighten the doorknobs alternately by turning clockwise until the door is sealed against the housing. Open the isolation dampers, perform and required filter testing, and your filter housing is ready for service.